All right, I'm going to try to keep this one quick and show how to make gaskets using a, a brother scan and cut. Um, I've already got the gasket material stuck down to the mat. I've already got uh, gaskets, the, the pattern, saved into the machine. So um, I'm just going to try to do this quick just to show this. I've already done this. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming when I, when I had it go. But So these happen to be for my plow, the uh, western unit amount for the covers for where the cables go and stuff but I'm just gonna select that one and cut these out and it says it's gonna take about two minutes so what it is is I, I drew out the the pattern and I'll see if I can get you in here after I get everybody motion sick so I drew the pattern out and scanned it and saved it on the machine and Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. Now, one of the most important things when you're doing this is uh, making sure that your mat is good and sticky. Um, I suspect that they make mats that are, are different. Uh, tackiness for different applications. I know they have a low tack one and a standard and I'm pretty sure there is one that's stronger as well but what what I ended up having to do with this one because I bought this mat new off of eBay and I suspect it was older and had been laying around um, and, and anyway it was, so it was never really very sticky but I looked on YouTube and found a video showed how to re-stick your mats and you clean it up with alcohol and then you use this zig memory it's a two-way glue um, and it, it made it much better um, the adhesive was much better than when it was when I first got it um, So the, this particular pattern isn't the best one. I believe when I saved it, I must have saved it under the wrong cut um, style. So some of the lines are were cut twice. So um, all that kind of comes into play. And I'm still learning the machine, so I'm not that great with it. But I think this is mostly just for a show you how it's done and proof of concept type of thing. Um, I know it's poor planning on my part, but I'm so darn busy with all the snow we've been getting and everything that I just haven't had time to set up things and do it properly. So, so it says the cutting's finished, so I'll pull the cart, and we're going to go for a little ride again here. And, uh, now, I can show you. So, as you can see, uh, I guess I didn't have it c the the cut quite down. I should have. I forgot that when I when I set the cutter, I had set it for the thinner gasket material that I made for my throttle body, not this this stuff. So, um, anyway, some of them are are cut out a little better than the others, but um, you can see the the circles. It cuts circles pretty darn well. And this is all the, this is this is fairly stiff, fairly stiff stuff here. So, um, and you're not going to be able to cut these circles that well by hand, even use them circle punches. I mean, things tear, and it's just, I mean, it's just crazy. So, so the problems that I'm having with these gaskets right here. I could easily remedy by making some adjustments on the the settings, but I mean, how easy is that to do small holes accurate? You know, I mean, you literally all you have to do is take a, a sharp tip marker and draw what you want, scan it, load it, and cut it. So works for me. I mean, you figure. Um, 
I think these thing these gaskets for this one were about three or four dollars a piece and the one for my throttle body the kit for that was like 25 bucks so you know it's it's it really comes in handy for things like that saving money you know and I'm I'm always up late night so it's not like I can run to the parts store at one o'clock in the morning to get a gasket if I need it and you know and then I work on a lot of older stuff too that's kind of harder to get parts for and I don't want to have to wait three days for shipping so all I got to do is get a roll of the gasket mat and I, I keep this on a shelf with the board on it to get it nice and flat like this so that it sticks better because uh, otherwise it comes in a roll and uh, the rolls here happens to be a piece that I have on the shelf that I didn't put back on the board so you know these rolls don't stick down as well so then it gets moved around by the machine but but you know laying it out and leaving a book on it or a board or whatever for a while and that way when you're ready to use it to cut for gaskets you just put it on there and it cuts it out I mean I, I just I don't know what to say. It, it just works really well for me. I like the idea. It's going to save me some money. It's a lot more convenient than having to run to the store. So, um, I paid $180 for that machine, and I think I'm about a, a third of the way having it paid off already, and I still haven't even learned how to use the thing properly yet, as you can see. So, um, just a tip. Hopefully it'll uh, help some people out.